Sponsored by KiwiCo. I gotta be honest with you guys. I have a massive problem. So you see, the problem is that I'm just, oh, yeah. I'm too good at video games, okay? The holidays come around and I absolutely dump on my friends and family when they visit. You gotta kill me once, dude, you get 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna like have mercy. I don't care if they're seven. They're gonna learn how to lose today. See, the real problem though is that I'm not good enough for it to have any value. Oh my god! I can't go pro. I'm not like a streamer. I'm just good enough to be really obnoxious. <laughs> so believe it or not, I'm just really obnoxious. And so I'm not cheating. I just have to close the gap. My first idea was to take a glass mouse pad. I thought I'd put little sticky grabbers on it and then have some sort of string pulley system to precisely pull it around while I'm gaming. See, if the mouse pad is moving underneath the mouse, inverted to the direction I need to move to the target in the game, then the mouse pad is helping me aim and it's just a mouse pad. It's just a mouse pad. But this posed some problems. First, the strings could potentially uh, like, give away. It doesn't feel very magic with this. Also like, I feel like you would hit this. I wanted everything to be invisible. That made me think it's gotta be built into the desk or underneath the desk. Sort of like those pianos that play themselves. Those aren't cheating. It's just a piano. After measuring, I made a bunch of cutouts so that I could access the new mouse pad from underneath. It had to be the perfect size so that the mouse pad could overlap the edges and have a good range of motion without revealing the hole underneath. I started with this line. That's a nice looking line right there. Look at that line, dude. I was pretty proud of this line. Look at that line, guys. That was a nice looking line. Nice. No toes. There it is, man. Perfectly measured. Now the fun part, the robotics. The first iteration of this was two stepper motors, one for each axis. And then underneath the desk, there's a pulley system. Probably a pulley system. Anchored to the bottom of the mouse pad so that it could pull the mouse pad with rotation. Then I could use a little single board computer. Oh man, I'm a Linux user now, man. And some drivers to control the movement of the mouse pad from a program on my computer. And then my eyes peeled open in the middle of the night and decided that that would not be accurate enough. <laughs> so my next revision was this high speed gantry system. Ah, it's a big But it was way bigger than the picture. Like this thing could move the entire desk. So finally I landed on this, a drawing robot. It has an X, Y, and Z axis that's controlled by a driver board. I like how the, you move it fast and the back current turns it on and it's all built on 2020 extrusion. So all I had to do was get in there, do some hackeroonies in order to control it. I don't know what that is or what I'm doing. I think all it does right now is pause, record, and run. Not sure what gave me that idea. So I got in there and started to do a little bit of reverse engineering. All right, what is this? Remove after washing. Huh. It looked like a pretty basic stepper driver, but it also had a USB port. All right, I've got its guts on the ground and I've got it plugged into my computer. Now I'm gonna go see if it shows up as a serial device, because if so, I can send the commands over from here via USB. Quinn Hen Electronics USB CDC serial, let's freaking go. Showed up as a serial device so I could send serial commands to it. I wrote this code myself, line by line, test movement and see if we're in. It should see if <coughs> we're in. It took a couple tries. Here we go. Try to run it. Didn't work. It didn't work. All right. Try number two for the hacker Rudy's. Here we go. Bummer. Dang. It. All right. Here we go. Next one. Did it work? Did not work. All right. This is the one. Here we go. Oh, did this is move. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh. I'm in. I figured out it listens to just standard GRBL commands, which I, I'm not sure if people call it gerbil, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So after a little bit of testing, I was able to figure out exactly the right commands to get it to move in real time. Oh, I'm in for real. Gerbil initialized. We should be jogging. Let's 
freaking go. With the driver board hackeroonied, I got it reinstalled and then removed the Z-axis from the gantry because we don't actually need that. So now, we just need a way to uh, fix this on the bottom right here. Since this whole thing is already made out of 2020 extrusion, I could just cut my own. Uh, I'm all, I do not like these, that's all. To just the right size and affix it to the bottom of the desk, out of sight. That. And then we can position it perfectly. Oh yeah, baby. Should be like. Dude, that, that's pretty nice right there. And that is on there, baby. Don't hurt your toes. My toes, I have, they feel so scared. Look at this, dude. Dude, that's epic. <laughs> uh, Here's my mouse pad. It's just a mouse pad, dude. It's just a mouse pad, come down. I needed the parts of the mouse pad that are touching to slide freely. So I first tried these. Rust bearings. There's still quite a bit of drag. Really, it's like not quite as flowy as I would have hoped. But it turned out mouse skates were way more efficient. <laughs> That's nice, dude. That's way better than the thrust bearings, which I wouldn't have expected, but this slide's good. I spent a good long while making sure everything was perfectly level. You cannot plug in. Twice. And then it just came down to programming it. It's moving, it's doing things. Ah, hey! It worked at home! Okay. I knew what serial commands to send to get it to its starting position and then move left, right, up and down. So the next step was plugging it into the neuromuscular aim assist computer vision program that uses YOLO vision to get the enemy position on screen, but instead of a controlled electrocution, ah, shut up, we're shut up. whenever an enemy is outside the blue circle, I'll do mouse pad movement when an enemy is inside the blue circle. Okay, so I'm here, I'm aiming, enemies detected on the right. I'm gonna move my hand to the right or the mouse pad moves to the left that would move me to the right yeah so the mouse pad needs to move to the left now while the monkey is programming that i'd like to tell you about kiwico the sponsor of the video i've been a kiwico customer long before ever getting to have a video sponsored by them their belief is that innovating is an exciting experience a hands-on process where you learn while having a good time and that's what you can get delivered or give as a gift it says seven months but i gotta say I'm pretty good at it. KiwiCo products are incredibly unique and like you can just feel the value they have outside of just like occupying your kid's time. Like they clearly help the learning process along. For me, as someone who builds stuff all day essentially, I know that my kids' brains are probably gonna work the same way and so I can give them things that help that process and help them grow the way that they need to. I distinctly remember many of the gifts I got as a kid. I would have gone crazy for this as a kid. And I feel like because of that, KiwiCo's products could genuinely change the trajectory of a kid's life in a good way. So if you wanna give a gift that won't just be forgotten in a day and will probably actually amount to growing and inspiring someone, I think you'll really like KiwiCo. So use my code basically or go to kiwico.com forward slash basically to get 50% off your first monthly crate or 20% off your first panda crit. And thank you KiwiCo for sponsoring this video and allowing me to give great gifts to my kids. With all the software complete, all I had to do was affix the mouse pad to the uh, contraption underneath. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I designed and 3D printed this little mounting That's point. Nice, dude. So that'll just plop down on there. Now that, that's satisfying. I decided to go with Velcro to make sure I could move the mouse pad around if I needed to adjust it. And then I epoxied my 3D print directly under the back of the motor. Nice. And then it was done. <laughs> but wait, oh, okay. oh, you thought I was gonna use this? Oh, In matchmaking? Hey, let's freaking go. Of course not. I'm gonna let my family and friends use it. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. So that I can have some competition. That's a, don't, don't mind that. <laughs> don't mind that, kid. That, that's normal right there. Watch your knee. Honestly, it sounds like you thought I was gonna cheat. Why is that beneath you? Because it's detecting the enemy in the center, bro. I wouldn't do that, okay? about to get fried. You think I'm gonna get fried? And I kid you not, the moment we fired up the game, the little gerbil board fried itself. Here, hold your mouth up and let's just see if it moves at all. It all died, Gideon. It worked 10 seconds ago. He saw it, right, Gideon? 
He saw it moving around. So I thought maybe we would just have a normal 1v1. Do you want to just warm up 1v1 real quick? Sure. But I didn't want to just like show a montage demonstrating exactly what I was talking about in the beginning of the video because if you cool. kill me a single time, I'll give you 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. That could make me seem kind of like ruthless. Oh, oh. We're gonna play like a lot of rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, lots of them. I killed him, my dog. Fuck you, dude. What? I killed him! This is the war! You want me to use pistols only? Yes, right. that's what you said! That's, that's true, that's true. I didn't say pistols only. Oh. Where are you? You wanna go again? Yes. Just one kill. You just sweat, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, I've been touching grass all day. No, you see this can? Stop the cat. I've been touching the grass. Stop I've been the cat. I'm having to breathe. Tell me when you're ready. Just go. Go. Oh. <laughs> go. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on, let's go. Double or nothing. No, I'm not doing double or nothing. <laughs> oh, I already was. That's 50 bucks on my feet. That, right? You get 50 bucks. I'll get a little mug full of grass. Yeah, it's just, bro, I'm touching grass. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure my program was locking the motors in place and caused the board to overheat. So I swapped it out and it was clear I needed a different test subject. Someone who had less experience with FPS games. Hey, go. Can I go? Yeah. I shot you. You gotta shoot me over and over. It helped you aim though, right? I don't know. So I finally got to see if the magic mouse pad worked and it was absolutely locked in. <laughs> but it's like she didn't, she didn't know that it was working. Did you think you did that on your own? The aim? I don't know, babe. You don't have enough muscle memory in the game to understand that it's actually aiming for you. No, it's not. It is, try again. It literally just aimed to my head for you. So now I'm crashing out, and I can't have her just thinking she's beating me. Uh, it, it, okay, are you aiming at me right now? It's literally aiming for you. No, I'm moving my hand. So I guess one might say I deserve this. So you're telling me you aimed all of that on your own. You aimed all of that on your own and immediately hit all of the shots on me. Dude, I don't know. I'm not moving that much. I didn't expect this. What? So you're telling me you think that you did that on your own? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, so, I'm moving my hand. Okay, okay. I'm thinking it. So naturally, for, for the engineering and the scientific matter of the video, I had to turn it off, uh, you know, to test it. You know, test it. I got to test it. <laughs> I wasn't saying. You were looking. So, speaking scientifically, it does appear as though the magic mouse pad works. So, do you, you like maybe see now that it probably was helping a little? Because we can turn it back. She didn't like that. We turned the mouse pad back on. So, I guess in the end, I not only got what I deserved. But also, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I gotta lock in. A little bit of competition. <laughs> and maybe I went a little easy on him. Okay? Don't cheat. I didn't let you win that one. You gotta go touch grass, okay? You gotta touch grass. Just passing through.